How's it going, everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to my channel, The Cosmic Wonder, where we talk about everything relating to Marvel and, of course, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And today we have some Phase 5 news, specifically revolving around Blade and Moon Knight. A new character is going to be coming to the MCU that could connect the two. And depending on what Marvel and Sony have worked out with each other for the Spider-Man universe that they share with each other, we could even see this character pop up in a Morbius, Venom, or Spider-Man film. We could even have a whole monster universe coming to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Characters like Morbius, Blade, who hunts down monsters and vampires, Dracula, Moon Knight, and many other awesome ones. So we'll break down this new report of this new character coming to Phase 5 and talk about what it means. But first, congratulations to YouTube user Rocket Rat for being last week's winner of the Iron Man Funko Pop giveaway. This week we're giving away a Captain America Funko Pop from Avengers Endgame. Same rules, all you have to do is subscribe, like the video, leave a comment about the video down below. So today's report comes from Casey Walsh from the website The Geeks Worldwide. And him and some other previous people not too long ago have said that they have seen Elsa Bloodstone's name included with those of Blade and Moon Knight. Now, if you are unaware of who Elsa Bloodstone is, she is the daughter of Ulysses Bloodstone, and she's an expert monster hunter. She has many different powers, including superhuman strength, speed, stamina, agility. She also has the ability to heal herself. She's an expert marksman, and she has the use of mystic powers. Now, what makes this very interesting about her joining the MCU is the report that we are getting a Ghost Rider in the MCU as well. And the reason this is interesting is because it looks like Marvel could be planning to introduce introduce the Midnight Suns. This was a group put together in the comics by Ghost Rider and Doctor Strange. They were formed to fight different kinds of threats, more mystic, demonic, monster type of threats. And if Marvel does decide to do this group, it seems like we already know who they're going to put in the group. Doctor Strange, of course, Moon Knight, Blade, Morbius, and now, of course, Elsa Bloodstone. Now, this could be a pretty incredible group of people in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And we do know, based off of everything that we've heard so far, that Marvel is going to explore the more mystic side of the universe. And this is all going to start with Wanda Vision. We've seen the leaked photos of the Salem Witch Trials, implying that the more mystic side is going to be in that show. And of course, we know that this is going to tie into Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, in which he himself is the master master of the mystic arts. We already have Morbius coming out and we've already seen that it is tied to the MCU in some way or form. And then of course we have Blade and Moon Knight. Both have officially been announced by Marvel Studios. And now with the report that Elsa Bloodstone has been attached to Blade and Moon Knight, it appears that the plan for Marvel eventually would be to unite all of these characters and form the Sons of Midnight. We know that Doctor Strange is going to have a lot on his plate during Multiverse of Madness, and it might be safe to assume that he won't be able to contain everything that's going to happen. And perhaps there's a demon of some sort, maybe even Mephisto, that gets out that he can't contain, or even multiple demons that come from other realities and go into the main reality. So what would he do? Call upon the Sons of Midnight. And it really would be a perfect opportunity to connect all of those characters together. Blade, Morbius, Moon Knight, Elsa Bloodstone, and the one and only Ghost Rider. It seems like this is the path that Marvel's going down, and not to mention, once upon a time, ABC almost did a series about Elsa Bloodstone with Marvel. Seems like they've had plans for her for a while, and now she's going to be entering the MCU under Kevin Feige's control. So, let me know what you think about Elsa Bloodstone and the Sons of Midnight possibly coming to the MCU. Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you can stay up to date on everything relating to the MCU. See you. For live updates, you can follow me on Twitter, and as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.